the Cleveland Browns have officially confirmed that wide receiver Jakeem Grant has officially torn his Achilles. So sad. Welcome back, everyone. It's your boy, CJR Sports, and today we'll be talking about Jakeem Grant and the recent uh, you know, news that has been confirmed about his Achilles tear. So let's get right into this video. Uh, before we get started, I just want to uh, address the statement that was made by Kevin Safansky first about Jakeem Grant. Uh, he said, I really feel awful for Jakeem. We have witnessed how hard the young man has worked since he's gotten to our uh, team. We all realize injuries are a part of our game. But that doesn't mean, I mean, that doesn't make it any easier to accept, especially for the ones who work as hard and carries himself like Jakeem. I mean, like that, like that hits home. Like, I don't want to kind of get off topic, but I just, I coach high school football and I just had a player uh, actually today, 8, uh, eight 9, uh, 2022. Uh, confirmed that he tore his ACL and meniscus as a senior, and that would, you know, take away his entire football career. And he was a player that had a chance maybe to go JUCO, and you know, just got the opportunity taken away from him. So I can kind of feel how Jakeem Grant um, is kind of dealing with this right now. Unfortunately, you know, it's rough. He was, you know, he was carted off. With his injury Tuesday at practice, and who will miss the entire 2022 season? Uh, he was a free agent this off season and signed a three-year deal with Cleveland. He was a Pro Bowler as a returner last season, was voted as a second-team All-Pro in that role for the past two years. So maybe he wasn't going to be used, utilized as much as a receiver. Maybe with the receiver depth that they have now, he could, you know, be used a lot, utilized in that role. But he is a All-Pro caliber return man. And that's the reason why Cleveland signed him to this deal. I mean, he is he is a stud, you know, with the ball in his hands. And he's a stud with open space. He's fast. He can make people miss. And it's unfortunate that his Achilles had to, you know, tear on him. That he will not be able to showcase his skills. Because he was kind of a journeyman there for a while. And now he kind of got like a little bit of home in Cleveland. And unfortunate that he had this injury that is really going to set him a, a year back and that could really affect uh, how he is as a return man because sometimes it's very hard to come back for, from, from an Achilles injury. But guys, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this uh, Jakeem Grant Achilles injury. I, I truly do feel for him. Um, I know that the Cleveland Browns are keeping their tabs up on Will Fuller and it seems like there's mutual interest there. I know Will Fuller... Uh, you know, the report is that he's kind of waiting to see what happens with Deshaun Watson first before he signs with Cleveland. I know he has not been used as a return man, but will be a great addition to the receiver room and could also kind of help in the return if they choose to let him, you know, try and see how that works. Uh, I don't see this, but I mean, I know there has been reports saying that if the, uh, Will Fuller does sign with the Browns, there is a chance where he does have an opportunity to compete and not only be, you know, the number two receiver in Cleveland, but will repeat, uh, will compete for a returnman job. So let me know down in the comments if you think this is really true and if you think that Will Fuller will be a Cleveland Brown. If you guys haven't already, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And it's your boy, CJR Sports, and I'm out. Peace, guys.